Hey guys, what's up? I'm Justin. And I'm Richard. And we're here, and we're at MLB Baseball Blogs. And here is our prediction on our awards at the end of the season. Our 30 claps, 30 recaps have finally been completed. We are done with that. Uh, we got a couple projects we're going to be doing before Thursday's MLB starting of the season. So we got to start with our NL Cy Young today. And Richard and I, we both agreed on NL Cy Young, Roy Halladay. Richard, how well do you think Roy Halladay is? Where did we put him at? What record? Uh, well, me and you agreed. We uh, put him at a 20 and 8 record uh, with a 2.48 ERA and 230 Ks. Uh, he had a pretty comparable record last year, going 21 and 10 with a 2.44 ERA. I think Roy has another solid year and a repeat of the uh, National League Cy Young. Yeah, I really, we really just talked about most of Roy Halladay. I mean, this guy is going to send these Phillies to the World Series. That's our prediction. Um, I think the Phillies overall with the, with Roy Halladay are going to have an amazing season, maybe a hundred and three or hundred and four win season. I mean, they're going to be terrific with this pitching rotation. So that is our pick for NL Cy Young. Richard, what is your AL MVP this year? My AL MVP is a guy coming from a non-hitter friendly ballpark, uh, Adrian Gonzalez, coming over from Petco, slugged 31 home runs. Uh, I think he reached 40 uh, one year in Petco. I believe Fenway's going to hit 45 home runs, driving 124 to 125 uh, runs, and bat around 320. Um, I have to agree with that. I mean, being a, I like Adrian Gonzalez as a player. He's a great athlete. I really, I really have to say that Adrian Gonzalez is going to be a top competitor in AL MVP. My AL MVP, on the other hand, is going to be across a biggest rival, Mark Teixeira. This guy coming back from, well, he got injured in the playoffs against the Rangers last season. Did not compete. I think the last two games of the playoffs. I think this year. Uh, Mark Teixeira is going to hit maybe 34 home runs with a batting average at maybe a 299 or maybe a 3 I'm putting it maybe a 314 batting average I mean he's going to come back and have a bounce season this guy's going to hit 34 35 home runs and maybe 127 RBIs I mean this guy this is his year for MVP this season all right Richard who is your NL MVP this season my NL MVP uh, Albert Pujols. I mean, this guy's on a contract season. Uh, he puts up huge numbers every year, but I believe in his contract season he's going to put up 46 home runs, 125 RBIs, and a 325 batting average. I really like Pujols. I mean, this is his contract year. I heard that he's decided not to talk any more contracts until the end of the season. Is he going to return to St. Louis this year, or this, after the end of his contract? I think he will. I'm going to give it a 50, 55 to 60% chance. Uh, I can, you, I mean, a guy like him, I think he believes in the get drafted by a team and developed by a team. You stick with that team your whole career. But there is teams like uh, the Cubs who could go after him. There are the big market teams like the Dodgers. Um, all the rumors about the Yankees, he's probably going after him. That's not going to happen. Uh unless something crazy happens, but I give it a 60% chance he returns to St. Louis. Yeah, I like I like uh, Pujols, so I hope he returns. My NL MVP is a guy who you guys might not think of this year's as MVP. I have Tulo, I think. Troy Tulowitzki, this guy is my pick. Um, you guys may think, how is why, how, why do you have him hitting this high? Um, I think this year he's going to have 32 home runs and, 100, uh, and 102 RBIs. In a three in a point three oh nine batting average, this guy is going to lead this Colorado Rocky squad to the playoffs and a division title. I mean, this guy had like what twenty six, twenty seven home runs last season. This guy is very capable of hitting thirty plus home runs this season and hitting. He had ninety six RBIs last season. This guy's capable for making a hundred. So I give him thirty two home runs, hundred two RBIs, and a great batting average because this guy was in the threes last season. At a .309 batting average, this guy is going to lead this squad to the NLCS, and let's see if those Rockies can make it to the playoffs. All right, we are going to do our AL and NL Managers of the Year. Richard, who is your AL Manager of the Year? AL Manager of the Year, I'm going to have to go with Ozzie Guillen. Um, you know, he is uh, he's a very outspoken manager, but I think that his club is going to 
took a pretty good run in the playoffs this year. Um, I mean, this is a really good uh, White Sox team. Very high, a very high powered offense with Dunn coming over. I think Ozzy Guillen will win the uh, AL Manager of the Year. Yeah. Um, not really a huge fan of the White Sox or Ozzy Guillen, but that's your choice, and you have to stick with your choice. My AL MV, uh, our, my AL Manager of the Year is going to be Buck Showalter. This guy put the, the Orioles on the right track last season near the end of the season. I think it was like nine or – I think it was like six. I don't know how many win, ones they, they won straight without a loss. But this Orioles squad have gotten in the right direction, acquiring Vladimir Guerrero, acquiring – Mark Reynolds, and they got J.J. Hardy, guys like that. This is a rebuilding phrase for this Baltimore squad, and I think they're going to finish in third place in the AL East. All right, Richard, who is your NL Manager of the Year? Uh, I'm going to have to go with my, uh, Ron Roenick from the Brewers. Uh, the Brewers have reinvented their team, acquiring Sean Markham and Zach Granke. Granke's going to start the season on the DM. There's a couple of starts, but I believe the Brewers are going to finish 91-71. and 71 and win the NL Central. Um, yeah, I pick Ron Roenick. You pick Ron Roenick? Um, my yep. NL Manager of the Year, um, Jim Tracy. This guy, like I said before, like Tulo, this guy is going to send this team so deep into the playoffs, it's going to be a good NLCS. It could be the Rockies. It could be even... It could be the Phillies and the Rockies. And I, I, we just, I just think Jim Tracy is going to win. This guy's going to be a beast. So, um, I missed out on a on a um, Cy Young. So I'm gonna go back to my Cy Young for AL. My AL Cy Young Award winner is gonna be CC Sabathia. Uh, I know I got two Yankees in here. Being a Yankee fan, I think this is CC's year again. His last, I think he won the uh, Cy Young Award with the Brewers or the Indians in the split season. If I'm mistaken, please correct me. But CC Sabathia, I have him going 22 and nine. 203 strikeouts with a 3.20 ERA. His ERA is going to jump up a little bit. Um, 203 strikeouts. This guy was so close to 200 last season. But this guy is going to have a great season. 22-9. and nine. CC's, This is CC's year. I mean, the Yankees are going to have more They're going to have more competition in that AL East with a bunch of great players coming to the AL East. So it's going to be up for grabs for that division. But AL, it's going to be Boston Red Sox number one, Yankees number two. Baltimore, number three. Number four, we got the Toronto Blue Jays. And rounding it out, it's going to be the Tampa Bay Rays. So, I think CeCe's going to win 22 games and he's going to lose nine. This is his year. Going over to the... Uh, yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, what you talked about earlier about him winning a side, and he did, actually, yeah, in 2007 with the Indians. Uh, sorry, I, I thought it was 08, 09, or 08 season. Um, going over, we have Mitt, we have our rookies of the year. Me and him, me and Richard here have decided that our NL rookie of the year this year is going to be prospect Aroldis Chapman. This guy was a beast. He somewhat showed it in the playoffs last season. He had a great season. I mean, he was started off last season was a late call up because this guy went through all the stages. Double A Dominican. He got signed like what mid season, I think. Richard? Yeah, he uh, yeah he came up uh, for a brief stint last year. Pretty good. Uh, he was recorded throwing a 105 mile an hour fastball. Uh, this kid, this kid has a boatload of potential. I believe if he was in the rotation, he could be a 15 game winner. Yeah. Do you think he's ready to be put in that pitching rotation? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I'll give it a year of in the bullpen. Um. I mean, he does still have to work on his control. Maybe he can, uh, maybe he can do that uh, this during the season coming out of the bullpen. Yeah, I mean, this guy is going to be beast. This guy can throw 102 mile an hour fastballs, 104 mile an hour fastballs. That is our pick for a for the NL's um, rookie of the year. Our my NL rookie, of, well, my AL rookie of the year is going to be JP Arnett Um I I. No much. I don't know a lot about this guy, but I'm going to sum it up. I think this guy is going to make the major squad. I mean, they had the Blue Jays traded a lot this season. They got they got acquired Mike Napoli from the Angels. And then from the Angels, this guy went straight 
uh, Mike Napoli went from the Blue Jays to the Ain to the Rangers for a Frank Francisco trade, and this squad is going to have to go with Jose Molina as their starting catcher, and their backup's going to be J.P. Arnest to be. I mean, this guy is going to maybe have a Buster Posey year, maybe, maybe not. I mean, I have to see how well he does at the major league level. Haven't seen much of him in spring training, so I think he's going to have a great season this year. R Richard, who is your AL MVP? You mean Rookie of the Year. And, but, rookie yeah, of the Year. To um, give a little bit more background about Aaron Sebia, I am from New Hampshire, and in New Hampshire we have the Fisher Cats, which is the AA affiliate of the Blue Jays. I've seen Aaron Sebia multiple times. This kid, he won't hit for a high average, and he is starting in Toronto, actually, so that's even better. He won't hit for a high average, but he has a boat lower power. Um, Aaron Sebia is definitely on the watch. But my pick, I'm a huge Rays fan, as many of you may know, so I'm going to have to go with Jeremy Hellickson. Getting the nod as a fifth starter in this rotation after Matt Garza left to the Cubs, I believe he's going to have a solid season for a Rays team that's in a little bit of disarray. I have him going 14-7 and seven with a 3.65 ERA and 140 strikeouts. Pretty bold, but this kid has good stuff. Yeah, I mean, Jerry, Jeremy Alexson's projected their number five starter. I think he's going to have a great season. Uh, I mean, in the AL, I don't really see J.P. Arnest to be as a great pick. Then you also have that picture coming in from Seattle. I mean, there are a lot of AL picks this year. NL picks this year is going to be Aroldis Chapman or maybe Brandon Belt, guys like that. So, guys, I'm Justin. Oh, no, that's Richard. And that is our... Oh, before we... You got something to say? Before we leave, we forgot... Uh, yeah, before we leave, we forgot my AL Cy Young pick. Uh, oh, so... Uh, that's fine. Uh, but to, uh, to leave off, to end the video, my AL Cy Young pick, John Lester. 19-9 uh, season last year. Uh, I think this year's going to go 19-6 with 3.13 ERA and 223 strikeouts. That's my pick. I have David Price in the top three with CC. Uh, um, but this is going to be a very, very good, uh, very, very good Cy Young race. Yeah. I really like the Cy Young race, too. I mean, CC Sabathi, that's just his year. I mean, it's going to be close, but not close enough for John Lester. But... The season hasn't even started yet, but this is just a prediction show. What is your predictions? Let us know in the comment section. I'm Justin. And I'm Richard. And we're MLB Baseball Blogs, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Our World Series prediction is going to be coming up tomorrow. Make sure to check that out. We'll talk to you guys soon, and check out the website. Follow us on Twitter at MLB Team Buzz. We'll talk to you soon, and enjoy your week.